These are the steps to process your check draft billing. Click on Setup. Click Membership on the left. Click Sites across the top on the secondary menu. And then you scroll down to see your check draft billing options. Click on Manually Process Billing. Now today is the 22nd. My bill date happens to be August 1st. So I'm going to change the date here to August 1st, then click Process. You always have to change this date to the day of your billing. It will default to today's date, but change it to the bill date that your members get billed. Click Process. It will process momentarily. When it's done, you will go to Reports and then Billing Batches. Click on Checking. You will have a batch there with today's date on it. You will place a check mark in that batch. You will click Export ACH on the right. Again, you have to change this date to the date that your members are expecting to get billed because the, that date is stamped into the file and when you submit the file to the bank, if you submit it on the 25th or the 28th, the bank's computers will hold it until 8-1 and then it will hit everyone's bank account. Click Export. The file appears down here in the lower left of your screen. I like to click on the arrow and click Show in Folder. That file will show in your Downloads folder, and here it is right here. So you can then upload that file to your bank. This is how you would process your returns from your bank. When you submit a check for file to the bank, you will get notifications on which members were NSF and could not pay. <clears throat> In Quick Check, when you bill someone on Check Draft, it always shows that you bill them and that they automatically pay. So you need to show that they still owe that money. So in Quick Check, you're going to go to your, your report screen at the top. Billing Batches on the left. Click Checking at the, on the submenu at the top. Let's say this was the batch you're getting the report for. On the far right, you're going to click on View Detail. You will see all the members in the batch. You can sort it alphabetically by clicking on this double arrow to the right of Name, right here. So it sorts it alphabetically. If you click it again, it will reverse sort. And you can do that for any report in Quick Check um, for any column. So you can sort by whatever you want to sort by. In this case, we'll just do Name. Let's say there were three people. Let's say it was Freddie. Bob and Karen that were returned by the bank. We would put a check mark on the left in Freddie's record, Bob's record, and Karen's record. At the top you'll click return. Then a window pops up and it asks you do you want to debit the selected accounts? Total is $80.40, three records selected. You click return and it will post those returns to those members accounts. So if we, if we look up Freddie Bender's record, we can see on the right that this billing account now has a balance of $15.40 past due. A moment ago it did say zero, but we posted the return. Let's take a look at the return. Click Accounts on the left, and then we'll click View Payment History on the secondary menu at the top. And then we're going to select the checking account. And here you can see is where we billed him the $15. Then that's checking for the first and then and shows the bill date. We happen to be processing May 1st. And then the credit is automatically posted here. So it brings the balance back to zero. And we just did the return fee and it tells us the batch it was from. So now he owes, now he will show that past due balance on the member screen and also on the checking screen. If, if the front desk sees him, they'll see that on the right. And obviously, when he goes to check in, it should say, oh, he's, they're actually allowed to be past due up to $50 in demo data. But in your settings, it should or might show that the member's past due and denied entry. Those settings for your deny entry parameters can be found in Setup. So let's go to Setup. 
and then we're on check-in setup on the left. Click check-in options at the top. And over here on the right are your settings for your denied entry process at the front desk for checking members in. On the right are your deny entry settings for when members check in at the front desk. And here we have days balances overdue. Oh, it wasn't $50. It was one, one day. So we just processed the billing a moment ago. So tomorrow they'll be denied entry. Uh, maximum overdue balance in here is $1, so you can change it to a lot of people $45 and 15 days. You can save that as your setting. So they will not be denied entry into the club until they are 15 days past due or $45. In this case, it's and, so they have to be oh $45 and be 15 days past due. So you can set those options and set up. If you have any further questions regarding check prep processing or returns or late fees, don't hesitate to email us at qc at healthclubsoftware.net. Have a great day.